Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and to today's video. So today, as promised, as I said in my last video, is going to be an edition of shades I'd buy as singles, okay? So what I like to do on this channel is I like to take my palettes, pull them out, ask myself which are my favorite shades, which are the shades that I like would definitely buy if I needed that shade. I mean, this is hypothetical. I don't really like single shadows, but I do love certain shades more than others. And so hypothetically speaking, like if I love a shade that much, would I buy it as a single? And in this case, these are shades I'd buy as singles. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay. So hello everybody. Welcome. If you're new, my name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty on this channel. I love to talk about eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is my favorite thing. I love talking about eyeshadow. I just love talking about makeup in general, but eyeshadow palettes are my favorite thing. And I talk about old palettes, new palettes, discontinued palettes, um, you know, some things that are, you know, drugstore, high end, whatever, in terms of like price point. So I'm kind of all over the place with eyeshadow palettes, but I do also like Bargain Beauty. So pretty much the rest of my face, most of my makeup for the rest of my face is mostly drugstore. So um, I focus most of my money into my eyeshadow palettes. So, yeah, if you guys love eyeshadow palettes too and you love interesting content you don't see on every other channel, then I hope you'll think about subscribing. I have a couple of different series on my channel that I like to do. I have a couple more planned. This takes a little bit of logistics for me to get those started. And I'm going to have a haul coming up for you guys. So if you are interested in those kinds of things, new makeup, drugstore makeup, eyeshadow palettes, and just having a good time, then I am a great channel for you to subscribe to. Um, and yeah, so make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. It's totally free. And I will be glad to have you here as part of the DMB crew. Now, before we get started, I would encourage you guys, if you, if at all possible, if you could watch the video all the way through to the end, that would make a huge difference because it helps other people, um, see my channel or see my video. My views help other people see my channel and video. And it also um, just helps with my watch time in general. And watch time is what you need in, in addition to subscribers in order to be monetized. Now, I don't do this as a full-time position. I just do this as a hobby. So I'm not looking to make a bajillion dollars doing this or making this a career. That's not why I'm doing this. But it would be nice for me to be able to kind of be able to showcase things on my channel, newer things that you guys would like to see, but that I don't necessarily get in PR. And so monetization would help with that. So if you would please watch all the way to the end, if you have an opportunity, that'd be great. If not, maybe save it for later and watch it when you have time. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's go. Okay. So you guys, basically what I decided to do just to make this easy on myself, I did my random rankings video last. And if you saw my random rankings video, then you know that I have 10 palettes. Typically when I do my shades, I buy a singles videos, I also use 10 shades. So what I, what I tend to do is I tend to pick the shades I'd buy as singles out of the 10 palettes I've picked for random ranking. So we have the same palettes from the last video, but this time we're only talking about specific shades in the palettes, okay? And I'm gonna swatch them. I know you guys love it when I swatch. Everybody loves swatches. I'm getting better at swatches and, and I'm starting to enjoy it more. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first palette I'm gonna talk about, and I have this shade on my eyes in the inner portion of my crease right here, is from the end of the Rainbow Palette with Ladybug Glow in collaboration with the Eye Scream Beauty Box. I-E-Y-E, -E, like I, and then Scream. This beauty box is um, features an eyeshadow palette every month, and Amanda's palette was in the April box, I want to say. It was in the March or April box. It probably is March because of the, um, because of the um, Irish theming. Um, so anyway, this shade is called Cloudy. I love shades like this. Now, it's kind of this like storm cloud shade, but on my eye, it translates to kind of like this dusty, like cool tone purple, grayish purple. It's very unique and I love shades like this. Um, so there it is. Now it looks very gray. In the pan it looks more brown. Okay, 
So there it is right th ooh, there it is right there. And the pan it looks more brown. I'm gonna swatch it one more time just so you guys can get a better sense. It is really just very gray, but I just love that little purple aspect of it. I don't know. For some reason it just draw I'm drawn to shades like this. You guys know that from my Undead Shara shade. I have another shade. Uh, in these palettes that reflects that same sort of like undertone. It's gray, but it's a little bit warmer. I really, really like this. I see, I see purple in there. I see a little hint of purple and I really enjoy it. Okay, so we're gonna basically do the shades that are on my eyes first. Okay, so the next shade I picked from the Nomad Air palette, I picked Find Your Wings. This is the shade that I have on the inner portion of my lid. It's this peachy shade right here, this peachy neutral. It's kind of like a rose gold shade. It's more peachy than rosy, but oh my God. I, I'm so excited for the little mini palettes. I really, really am. So excited for those, um, and, and I am gonna be getting them, so um, I will definitely be featuring those in my upcoming haul. But here is Find Your Wings. Look at that beautiful shade. This shade is just a traditional shimmer. Um, I love Nomad. They do, still do traditional shimmers. They do have duo, uh, palettes with duochromes in them as well, but I tend to gravitate towards the ones that don't because then I can get a new palette. Um, that's not to say they don't love duochromes and multichromes and holochromes and all of that. You guys, you already know how I feel about those shades um, and about how much they cost and how they make the cost of palettes more expensive. That doesn't mean I don't like them. I just don't feel that every shade needs to be like that because it makes the prices go up. And for me, that's really difficult. But I do have some multi-crowns. I have three. <laughs> I have three in this multi or duo crumbs, three in this video, okay? So that keep that in mind. I, I poo-poo them a lot, but I also love them as well. I just can't get all the new palettes because all the new palettes have those special shades. So we're gonna go into the Dancing Green palette now. The Dancing Green palette, this one right here from Essence, I have this shade on the center portion of my lid. I don't know if you can see it. It is the dark green shimmer. This one right here does, does not have a name. The, the, oh, the quality of, this, of these, of these um, eyeshadows for four bucks. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Look at that. I think that's absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. I love that combination of that green and the peach together. I think it looks pretty. I have a tendency to layer colors that don't go together over each other, and I just make it work. I am just, I make whatever colors I wanna use work together in some way, shape, or form. Even if they're cool versus warm, whatever. So anyway, there's that. Now, next palette is the Jungle Book palette from Beauty Bay. This is a Disney collaboration palette they did with Beauty Bay, um, and the palettes are 6 p.m. palettes. I, 6 p.m. palettes are having a moment. Has anybody else noticed that? Like, lots of 6 p.m. palettes out now. I'm not mad at it. I, I, prefer, I prefer 9 pans. That's my, like, favorite. 9 and 12 pans are my favorite. Um, 15 maybe, but if it gets any bigger than that, I'm like, you know, 18 is kind of where I, where I stop at. There's 21 and 24. But I, I find myself not having the space for a larger palette, so I really like these really small compact palettes. So basically the concept between Beauty with Beauty Bay was they took the movies and they took the colors from within the movie and they put them in the shades of the palette. The shade that I have on my lower lash line is this gorgeous kind of dusty blue shade. I live for blues like that. They're my favorite kind of blues to wear. These are so creamy, these mattes are so creamy. That's the shade. This is on my lower lash line. That shade right there. I think it's absolutely stunning. I love it. I, am, I really need to keep this out because honestly, I find myself gravitating towards these kinds of uh, tones more than like warmer, like burgundies and oranges and reds. I prefer blues, purples, and greens, uh, typically. I, I don't know what that is, why, um, but I, I don't know. I like what I like. Okay, so the last shade that's on my eyes comes from the Nomad Hudson Valley palette, and the shade is Bed and Breakfast, and it is this shade right down here. It is a dirty green. It's like a 
It's like a camo green. I mean, I've got a camouflage shirt on, but it's like a camo green. It's absolutely perfect. I mean, it's got a hint of brown in it. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, it's just like an olive. It's so pretty. I love Nomad. You guys know this, okay? So there's Bed and Breakfast right there at the bottom. So those are the shades that are on my eyes. Now we're gonna get to the shades that are not on my eyes, okay? And we are going to start with a good one, a real good one. This is the Halloween palette with Shroud Cosmetics and Batty Bean. I love a lot of shades in this palette, but of course, I'd be remiss in not mentioning Black Flame, this shade right here. This is, I believe it's a multi-chrome. It might just be a duochrome. It's like purple and green. It is, and it's dark. It's a deep, like a black base one. Oh my God, it is stunning. I mean, you see the purple, I see the green. So, it, and, and different types of light. It is a greenish, green to purple duochrome. It is everything, it is so beautiful. Of course, the black flame is a reference to Hocus Pocus and the black flame candle. That, um, what's his name? The boy from the movie Hocus Pocus. I can't remember, um, I can't remember his name. Um, lights and brings the witches back um, from the dead. So anyway, yes, it's very, very um, funny movie. I used to hate it, now I love it because of Delilah. Okay, the next one, let's not do another duochrome just yet. Okay, well we have three. Okay, they're all, all but one are shimmers and I have one matte left. Okay, so Sonic Bloom. This is from ColourPop. I love this palette. Um, very underrated, not available anymore. Sorry for the background. I love, now I talked about oranges and, and pinks and stuff. I still wear them and I think they look really good on me, but it's not what I gravitate towards normally. I adore the Hello Happy shade. It's kind of a yellowy green. Beautiful, beautiful. I thought about wearing this today instead of, um, the find your wings, but I thought I wanted an extra pop and it's like this antique green, greenish gold. It's so pretty. And I love, I love um, how bright and shiny that is. This is a good shimmer from ColourPop. Not all ColourPop shimmers are created equally, but this one is a good one for sure. I love it. That's Hello Happy. Then we are going to go to the little ghost palette from Odin's Eye in collaboration with Angelica, and this is one of the Halloween palettes. Now, the shade I picked from this, and you guys are gonna be kinda surprised, but I really, 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 really love this shade. I picked Licorice, okay? Now, Licorice is kind of like a plummy brown, and I like it because it's, it comes across very plum, but it works with the bottom row. It comes across very plum. It's like an eggplant shade. Absolutely stunning, but you can wear it with the blues, the purples. You can wear it with the warm row on the bottom, this the row down here. It's the most versatile shade to me because it goes with everything else. You can work, use everything else with it. It's absolutely perfect and I just love it, licorice. It's, it's stunning. It's one of my favorite like deep eggplant shades in my collection, so there's that one. Okay, now we are going to go to the Druid palette. Now the Druid palette, I said this in my last video about Fantasy Cosmetica and what you, you, you are getting, to me this is the best value for your money. This brand is the best value for your money because they do special eyeshadows but they keep, your, they keep the price around $40 which I think is reasonable for a nine pan palette. I would pay $40 for any palette, um, but it's reasonable. It's small, and you've got a myriad of special shades in here. Like, you've got a whole bunch. The one I picked for this video is Transformation, this one right here. Now look, it looks green to you, but to me, it looks like maroon. So it is a duochrome. At the very least, it's a duochrome. I'm looking at it on my finger, and I see the shifts in it. It's like a green to like burgundy kind of situation. So when I swatch it, it looks 
it looks, to me, it looks burgundy, but to you, it looks kind of like a goldish green, and you can see the shift a little bit. That's Transformation. It is stunning. It's one of my favorite shades in my collection as a whole, and I saved the best for last. This is probably, if I have to say I have a favorite eyeshadow. Now, this is a mid-tone uh, shimmer. It's mid-tone duochrome. It's a, I mean, a multi-chrome. It's a multi-chrome. It's not just a duochrome. It's a multi-chrome. It is Royal Treasure from the um, Royal Europe palette. It's this one right down here. This is absolutely breathtaking. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's just the gold, the green, the pink, the orange. Oh my gosh, it's breathtaking. It's absolutely breathtaking. See, so for me, as I look at it, it looks green. But as you look at it, it looks like pinkish, like a pinkish, like a magenta. It is the most beautiful shade. Okay, so there are all of my shades, shades I'd buy as singles. Uh, for this edition of my series of shades I'd buy with singles, that's just what we have here. So one last look at this beautiful set of swatches. I think this would be a gorgeous palette. I really, really do. Um, yeah, sometimes I look at these, I'm like, could I, that be a palette? I can see so many possibilities with this. Um, I see so many possibilities with this. You can make it more pinky purple, or you can make it more blue and green. Um, yeah, and the duochromes, multichromes in here, they just make it extra special. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, today's video, and that you had fun watching. Now, if you would be so kind as to leave me a bear. I've got a druid, which is bear. There's a bear there, and I got blue on this side, and he's a bear. So leave me a bear emoji. It could be a teddy bear. It could be like a brown bear. It could be any kind of bear. You want to leave me that emoji? That would be awesome and amazing, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'm going to say, Bora, hey, finger hearts, I purple you. You're awesome and amazing, and I love you so, so much, and I thank you for being here today and for watching this video all the way to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, do be sure to give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you haven't yet already, and if you're returning, thank you for watching, and if you're new, thank you for joining the DMB crew today. So I always say this, you guys. Remember to love yourself. Feed your soul, fill your cup, but you have to take that love, that positivity, and that good energy, and you got to put it back out into the world and love others as Jesus has loved you because we all want to treat, we all want others to treat us as we would like to be treated. So think of that when you treat somebody else, you know, a certain kind of way. It's very, very important because, you know, we all need to show love and compassion in this world. And uh, it's my message of peace, joy, and love. May God bless you and keep you. And I hope that you guys have the most blessed uh, week. And um, I will talk to you in my next video. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.